Let's see if you can catch it in your mouth. Oh, do it again. But we're gonna cut it as if I did it for the first time. You know what, Tim? Hmm. I think we make a good duo. I think you're right. <laughs> you didn't get it, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Bounced right off my tongue, though. I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David So. We travel around to different food festivals where we eat all the eats. We drinks all the drinks. And we get all types of crazy while giving you guys the most raw and realest food reviews in the game. This, this is Send Foods. What's good, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome back to Send Foods on Thrillers. I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David So. No, we won't. Oh, God, hello. That's for eating meat, you heathen. I love it! I don't care! Not today because we are at Vegandale, a fucking big ass vegan festival right here in New York on Randall Park Island. No, that's the actor. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Randall's Island Park. <laughs> Shout out to Randall Park on Fresh Off the Boat though. Talented guy. New York throws the biggest and the best, most organized food festivals of all time. This sh is popping, bro. What? This sh is crazy. It's fucking popping, guys. It's fucking popping. Poppin'. I'm excited for some fire ass vegan food. Yo, they have a fucking vegan fried chicken here. If this fried chicken, vegan chicken, fried vegan sh is as good as it looks, I think I'm ready to convert to Mormonism because I'll never give up real chicken. All right, you ready to eat? Let's do it. All right, so for our first step, we're going to this vegan Filipino soul food spot. It sounds crazy, I don't even know what to make of that. Can, can you tell uh, us yeah. what, what's going on here, bro? I live in the Philippines, and while there, I met a lovely lady right here, and we got married. That's beautiful. Yeah, she started making my grandma's food to make me feel less homesick. Aww. And her friends tried it and said, we love this exotic food from this exotic place called Landover, Maryland. And over the past five years, we've been the only soul food restaurant in Manila, Philippines. Really? You yes. live what? in the Philippines? I live in Alabang. Well, put tang in the mall. Yeah, put tang in the mall, dude. <laughs> In the U.S., we just do our craziest vegan option. Deep fried watermelon from Mississippi, done Filipino quick quick style. Okay. Well, can we get some, please? Opa. Thank you, bro. Opa. About 50% of the time, I had no idea what he was saying to me. The first thing we do... What's with the syringe? We add my grandma's homemade vanilla icing. Oh, oh damn. Oh, my so this, is like a, this is like a dessert. Opa. Opa. What does that mean? That means yes, sir. Yes, opa. All right. Thank you, my dude. All right. It's Thank mine. So. That means hot. Mine. All right, later, Thank you, bro. bro. I like that guy. That guy made me feel like I was at home. He also made me feel like... I was dumb. Because <laughs> he was saying a lot of things that I felt like I should know. Well, shit, let's try his balls out. Yeah. <laughs> With the white cream. With the white cream on sauce. Wow. That's crazy. Yo, you wouldn't think that you would like some warm watermelon. It's just like this pillowy soft like beignet with some warm watermelon on the inside, which like you said, is kind of weird. But watermelon's sweet, and I, I think like that, the juiciness of it works well. It's almost like, what is it? I, I can't explain it. It's weird, bro. It's weird. It's weird, but it works. It works. My guy, your balls are delicious. I know, galang. You know, galang, whatever the fuck that means. It ain't words like we know what it means. <laughs> it's so crazy, man. Okay, so we're here at uh, Hungry Like the Wolf, getting down on some vegan pizza. Every vegan person knows that if you miss regular buffalo wings, you gotta do it with the cauliflower. Why is that? I don't know. I don't know who started that shit, but... Who it's... was like, you know what's a good replacement for chicken wings? The albino broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> All right, oh, cheers. You soulless <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, good. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. This is good, but I think I had a better version of this recently, Tim. Like, when we went and helped make Vegan pizzas at Screamer's Pizza? I believe so. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. Hey, nice try. Hello. What's up, guys? Tim. Joy. David. 
Welcome to Screamers. Eee. Thanks for having us. It smells delicious in Fantastic. here. Fantastic. Awesome, guys. Well, we're an all-vegan pizza spot, trying to make vegan pizza a little bit more approachable for non-vegans. Well, damn, this is cool because, uh, you know, I've been trying to not eat cheese. It makes me break out. And he's out. been failing at it, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's trash under all this makeup. <laughs> Trust me. So this is like a very lit in situation. Right, in the right spot, man, in the right spot. Have you guys had vegan pizza before? I've had vegan uh, Chicago deep dish before. And how was that? That was okay. That was. This, one, <laughs> this one's gonna be much better. What are we doing? So we're making the grandma pie today. Grandma. Ooh, that sounds interesting. That yeah. sounds uh, sexy. So first we start with the uh, garlic oil. Mm -hmm. Give it a nice garlic oil rub down. Mm -hmm. That's vegan. Yep. Yep. Ooh, I like that. Yep. That's real sensual. I feel like Ooh. if I was really rubbing grandma, that's how it that would look. That looks like my like grandma's kneecaps. Gra <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, now we're doing the uh, vegan cheese. Vegan cheese. What is the vegan cheese made out of? This one is uh, coconut based with uh, potato starch. What? Ooh. Is that what they do? All right, this one's all about the sauce. <laughs> So we got the stripes of sauce here. Okay, oh. vegan tomatoes. Oh, vegan tomatoes. And you just pop this thing in the oven about 35 minutes. Oh, and that's that going for 35 minutes? Yeah, the dough is super thick. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. grandma, thick. All right, guys, now we're going to go with a buffalo pie. That's one of our most popular pies. Ooh. How'd you learn, how'd you learn to, to do that? Did you um, your hands? Oh, hey, no. Do you mind if you guys wash your hands real fast? Why? I refuse. What have, what have you guys been doing that she's so concerned about your hand washing? I showered before I came here. You got this? Yeah. Get oh, in you there, do man. the thing where you do the in the middle and then you spread, spread it, around. it around. Is that what you wanted to do? Okay, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Let's see if you got skills, dude. Oh, well, you worked at CPK. I'm, 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 I wasn't making pizzas. <laughs> oh, you were But you got the essence of pizza making, oh. right? I don't know. I expected just, more from you. Yeah, I uh, no, I was a server and... Um, oh, look how beautiful that is, though. I'm all, I'm all out of sauce. Hold on. Get, you, oh, I'm oh, all oh, out of sauce. A little more, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sauced without you. All right, then you want to salt bay this cheese right on top. Ooh. Made out of coconut and magic. That's crazy. Yeah. Almond ricotta? Yeah, man. What? Well, this is interesting. The texture's very fascinating. I'm glad I washed my hands before I put my hands in this. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Dude, you gotta go eight times. I'm just so- Yeah, that's right. Right there, oh. Okay. Oh God, I spilled some, sorry. And we're gonna get it with this uh, buffalo cauliflower right here. Oh my gosh, you're making a mess. It's all good. I saw you do it, so I just did it too. <laughs> Are you vegan? I am vegan, yeah. So there we go. We're going to put this thing right in the oven. Now we just wait for it to get sexy. Here are the pies you guys made. Oh my Ooh. goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, vegan vegan Parmesan. I think that's garlic. It looks like garlic anyways. I'm going to put it on anyways. Oh god, that was a lot. Okay. Oh, I think it's turmeric. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Tell me. It's supposed what to be like it? Parmesan, right? But not Parmesan. Nooch! Nutritional yeast, it's new. Oh, you're gonna try that one first? I'm gonna try this I want, one, I want, one I wanna first. try it because, you know, I, I, I want grandma while she's fresh, you feel me? Okay, well. Cheers. <laughs> oh, it's good, man. Mm-hmm. Nooch. It's good. I forgot what it was, but whatever's in the cheese, it's like, has a sweetness to it. The crust is really great. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's nice and chewy, but it's crunchy at the same time. If I can eat some shit that tastes like cheese and doesn't make me break out, it's a lip. Look at this thing, dude. It's just thick. Mm-hmm. Grandma thick. Yeah, you gotta eat the booty. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, grandma's booty is. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of the times when people create vegan food, they're trying to chase a flavor that they can't really recreate very well. Mm. This right here though, it's good. Oh, that got a nice little kick to it. I'm sorry. I wasn't ready for that. You like grandma's tit or this one? It's not grandma's tit. It's grandma's grandma's butt. What's it called again? <laughs> um, I'm going for this though. Yeah, no, no, this is this is my guy right here. It's By far, best vegan pizza I've ever had. This is the best vegan pizza I've ever had. Most definitely, suck it, Hodor. Can we please get some deep dish pizza? Deep pizza coming right Thank up. you so much. He's gigantic. Hold the door. I would have told you in your <laughs> face that your pizza sucked. But you would have killed me. Yeah, no, if I ever see you in person, I'm totally just kidding. Your pizza was also amazing. Dude. So also the good. best I've ever had. Yeah, I'm gonna have it at my wedding. <laughs> I think we got it. Hello. Hi. Hi there. What are these what are these flavors? So these are this is an Earl Grey vegan donut and okay. this one is a Thai tea. What makes a donut not vegan in the first place? 
Eggs, butter. Oh, there's eggs in there. Duh. Okay, Some I didn't. Eggs, powdered sugar. Duh. Duh. No. Oh, they put beef and powdered sugar. Wait, really? Yeah, like the bone char. What? So crazy, right? Duh, Tim. Dude, these don't know anything. Are these real flowers on here? They are. Edible, edible flowers? Flowers were alive too, so it's not that vegan, is it? <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you so much. Thank wow. You know Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. Bye. We don't pay. Okay, so we got some donuts from Kitsby Donuts. First of all, presentation on fucking point. Beautiful. And that DJ is really fucking loud. It's okay. Just ignore him, dude. I can't. Earl Greasy. Uh-huh. And I here I have the... Uh, uh, <laughs> Thai tea. How could you not know? I <laughs> know. You're Thai. Mm, this is delicious. It's really good. It's good. I um, mean, it's moist. I like a moist donut. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely more cakey than donut-y. I was just gonna say that. It's not as like, like when you when you bite into like a a, a fresh Krispy Kreme and that's kind of like you're biting like a sugary cloud. It's nice and airy and fluffy. Yeah. You don't get that here. No. But you do get a nice, like, moist, thick, wet, sexy consistency. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like man. that. The Earl Grey icing on top is f***ing great. I don't like it when people make things too sweet, specifically with desserts. I'm not a big sweet tooth guy. You didn't eat your flour. Oh. Yeah, see that? That's how he eats the booty. With flowers on it. So this is what we like super hyped about right now, this vegan fried chicken, because it smells and looks like some real ass motherfucking chicken. This is from Eat Love. Vegan ranch, I'm assuming. Wow, look how crispy and crunchy it is. The inside does not look like chicken, but look how juicy it is on the inside. I'm not even gonna look, I'm just gonna bite it. Cheers. Hey, that's a fire ass chicken nugget, that's hey. what it tastes like. I mean, obviously, it doesn't look like chicken. The inside of it doesn't look like chicken. But if you close your eyes and let your taste buds enjoy the texture and the flavor, this sh tastes like chicken. The fucking batter, crunchy as f Seasoning is just right. Because really, what do people like about fried chicken in the first place? It's all about the seasoning and the crunch. That um, vegan ranch or whatever is fucking delicious. This vegan ranch is great. Okay, look. No bullshit. This is fire. It is really good, man. And yeah. you know what? As you can see, we're having a nice, pleasant picnic right now. Kind of like the pleasant picnic we went on when we tried that vegan cheese and wine and caviar. Hello. Hi. Hi there, Tim. Michaela. Nice to meet you. David. Michaela, nice to meet you. Okay, so we see that you have a bunch of cheese here. We do. And it's all vegan cheese. Everything's vegan, yes. I see this this blue one. Is mm -hmm. that and that blue tastes cheese. like blue cheese, yeah? Yes. It is um cam blue. It uses camembert and blue cheese cultures. This one is made with cashews. Oh, yeah. cashew cheese. That's yeah. nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep making that same joke throughout this whole episode. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard that before. <laughs> so, there we go. Thank you. It almost looks like a slightly moist Parmesan. You're slightly moist as well. Wow, it's very, it's blue cheese. It tastes like cheese. <laughs> so the cashew cheese, is it's fermented then? It's fermented. Most, pretty much all the cheeses we have here yeah. are fermented as well. It has that funkiness that blue cheese has. Yeah and then it, it has like that sour fermentation from it as mm -hmm. well. Do you have a cheese that's similar to like a, a, a brie or a camembert maybe? Yeah, we do. It's a milder one, creamier one. Cheers. Somewhat brie style, but doesn't oh. have the bloomy rind. Oh, this is delicious though. Huh. Man, that's good. The rind is great. The rind is great. And again, as this ages, it'll, yeah, it'll it intensify. It will get really funky, yeah. it will get Stinky eventually, it's gonna get gooey and so on. Right, yeah. Because it definitely doesn't have that gooiness that I really like. Right, but yeah. But the rind is awesome. Yeah, the rind is very nice. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any spicy cheese? Uh, yeah. How spicy do you want it? Um, very? Very. Okay. I have to say it's too spicy for me. I can only have a few bites, so. Oh, really? Uh, Interesting. Thank you, Ted. But, you know, for You'll be okay. It's gringo spicy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Immediate kick. Mm. Ah. <laughs> I just drooled a little bit. That's good. <laughs> That's spicy. Uh, I like the part where it burns my soul. 
It's like, last for spicy. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Everything was so pleasant, and that one just <laughs> kicked me right in the face. Let's uh, let's pick a few. We're gonna take them on a nice little uh, little picnic. I'm I'm down for some uh, some some algae caviar too. I wanna try that. Oh, algae caviar might be <laughs> yeah. interesting. Yeah. We also have some really great cold cuts that I can recommend. We have really? Oh. I think my favorite was the spicy one. Oh really? Really? Yeah. really? Okay. Yeah. Give him another piece, please. <laughs> Here is your picnic basket. Oh, Packed thank up the cheeses. Thank, thank you so you. much for coming. I'm Bye. so glad you liked it. Bye. We did. Thank Bye. you. Take care. Bye. All right, let's go get some real food. So we're here in Battery Park. It's a beautiful day in New York. So we thought, why not take our new vegan cheese and vegan caviar and vegan white wine. There's a dog drinking water out of that fountain. That is the cutest shit I've ever seen in my it's life. Adorable. You golden freaking retriever. Oh. oh my god. Vegan white wine is probably one of the whitest things I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna break out this wine. We're gonna have a nice... Oh, look at that, Tim. I got a gold rim cup for you. Oh, thank you. Hey, man. Toast. Wow. Tastes very humane. Oh, and can't forget our vegan caviar made from seaweed. Oh, Damn. I'm excited for this, bro. It's going to be oceany, salty from the salted ocean. Yeah. Come on, Tim. You know how to open these you're, guys. You know, you're the you man. Gotta, you know the kung fu thing. Yeah, do it. Hey, don't mess with me, Kwilo. Oh, ew! You got your finger all in it. Ew! Whoa, that looks like caviar. It really does. What the hell? Let me just go ahead and scrape aside your fingernail remnants. Oh no, I already mixed it all in. <laughs> Get a little, uh... That's interesting, bro. Ooh, sea salt handcrafted crackers with this delicious soft vegan brie. I'm also gonna get a little bit of this uh, seaweed caviar on here. All right. I like the vegan brie. I always wish that it had that more funkier, like cheesier taste, that gooiness, but it's still good though. It man. almost tastes like a um, a brie spread. Yeah, like brie cream cheese. What do you think about the uh, the caviar? The caviar is interesting, bro. The oceany flavors in there, but it's uh it's different. It's almost kind of sweet. Get you a flavor. Oh, it's just like a a sweet pickle relish. Can you tell the difference between like expensive? <laughs> oh, that was timed perfectly. Right when your cracker fell, that horn. Expensive. <laughs> Hey, come come in here real quick. Oh, dog. oh my god. How you doing, bro? Oh my god, chillin', you got, chillin', you got Satan wrapped around your neck. That's crazy. How's that going? You so. to touch it? Okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh, is that what a snake feels like? Damn. I appreciate you, bro. No, all good. No, thank thanks, you, thank man. you, thank you, thank you. I need to burn my hand off immediately. Let's keep it 100%, all right? Of course, real cheese tastes better. Yeah. But for me, personally, this shit right here is like lifesaver, bro. And what is a charcuterie board without a little protein? Does this look like prosciutto, my friends? No. No, it does not. It looks like fruit gummy <laughs> candy. This is a ham fruit roll-up. Curl that bitch up like this. That's not bad, man. Hold on. Get your shoe away from my fake ham, please. That's not bad, man. Salty. Smoked fake ham. It's all right. It's actually not bad. Like I said, ham fruit roll up. I hope that man washes his snake. <laughs> all right, so we're here in front of Bad Gal Vegan getting some vegan Jamaican yeah. food. Gal, we got some scrimp them and we got some vegan oxtail, some vox tail. Yeah, then we got some fried plantains on this side. Oh, some Come vegan on. plantains as well. Congratulations. Cheers. How did they get the texture like that? It tastes, so it tastes like imitation crab. How did they get the texture like that? That's to be so bouncy weird. like some shrimp? Yeah, and it kind of, if you've had like a good cooked shrimp where it's not overcooked and rubbery, the flesh has this like consistency like it, to it. It shreds almost. Yeah, yes, yes. And, and they did it like that. How the f did they do that? Who did they buy this from? I want to buy this shrimp somewhere. That's pretty good. Let's try this uh, vegan oxtail. The, the, half of the fun of oxtail is, is sucking on the bone, not gonna lie. I love me some oxtail, man. Nice and fatty. You suck the bones, yeah. so this right here, you don't get that bone sucking 
pleasure. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> but, yes. but, let's see how it tastes. Cheers. You know, they got the texture right, though. The texture, yeah. It, if this was on a bone, that's how it would feel. They did something where it tastes like a piece of fat, almost. It doesn't have the stickiness, but it has that bounce and chew. I'm not mad. Yeah, it's not bad. Everything is iry right here. Yeah. Everything is iry. Everything is iry. Yeah. Now we're at the Mexi Boys. About to eat these fried steak burritos. Now we've had some good luck with uh, vegan Mexican food in the past. And what did we have in Chicago? Tamales! The tamales in Chicago were fire. Let's see how these fried steak burritos are. Oh, it's juicy. Okay. Oh, is that what you're doing? Let me go ahead and... Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. That Spanish rice on the inside, super flavorful. Mm. That crust, that crunch is nice too. Wow. Oh, man. The fresh pico de gallo on top of that too. Yo, let me tell you something. The fake cheese in here, mm. on top of whatever the f is the beef, is coming together real nice. I'm not gonna lie, it reminds me of like Taco Bell meat or Jack in the Box. No slander towards Taco Bell. Yo, anybody talking shit about Taco Bell, see me in the street, all right? I fucking love Taco Bell. But I also love authentic Mexican food. And apparently, I love vegan Mexican food because this right here is hidden. This right here, I not, wouldn't have known it was vegan. Take it from us as two chinitos that grew up in Los Angeles, Los Angeles. We value our Mexican food, all right? Pinche chino feo right here. Hey, huh? man. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, muy guapo. <laughs> tell you I am full and burnt and toasty like a, a tofu quesadilla the food was surprisingly so delicious do you still have beef fake beef with vegans don't have a cow man <laughs> come on we got cameras right there you crazy what the f <laughs> uh, so what do you think after your experience today would you go vegan? I will say this, I will eat more vegan food, but I'm still gonna eat a steak in front of a vegan. Yeah, hell no. Shout out to Mia Reyes in the comments for saying she would play these clips so many times that her stomach hurt from laughing. A shout out to Mandy for saying we're the perfect duo. So make sure y'all leave a bunch of comments below. We might just read your comment in the next video. <laughs> All right, y'all, thanks for watching this episode of 10 Foods on Thrillers. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm Timothy Delaghetto. I'm David Fowl! You bitch!